just heading up to Coniston. I did shed a tear when I left Yorkshire, land of the gods. But I'm gonna go meet a friend of mine called James. I've known James since February, and every time I've walked with him, I've always learned a little bit of something from him, which I'm very grateful for. Now, James is actually a trainee mountain leader, very, very skilled guy, and um, I was very grateful for his invitation to go wild camping with him and a friend of his this evening. So I've packed my, uh, my Terra Nova, and uh, I've also packed my waterproofs. I mean, even though it's, well, quite sunny, uh, about 17 degrees at the minute, which is tropical for this country, especially in the Lake District. Um, yeah, I, it's dry, but you can see by the puddles on the road that it's been, yeah, it has been raining. When I get to Coniston, um, James and his friend and myself will be setting off. The location on a map looks to be wooded, but we're only gonna uh, know that when we actually get there. So let's go and find James. Well, James did actually say, you know, meet me at Coniston Methodist Church, for example. So, I mean, I'm wandering around Coniston, which isn't unpleasant. Uh, but I can't find James. Now, other friends of mine have said to park here. Oh, I'll just park on the lay-by on the way in. Well, I mean, I've seen about four roads that lead into this village, and I haven't seen one lay-by yet. Organisation, yeah, mountain leader skills, well done. <laughs> uh, if it carries on being this warm, I'm going to get an ice cream and a suntan. Right. Say hello, James. Hello. Say hello, Ben. Hello. All right, it's so the start of the walk. Um, we've had a quick look at Lost Map. We're going to be walking along here on the right hand side of us. We can hear a stream, actually, you can see the stream over there. And we're looking to cross that at some point and then get up into the fells. Go on, fungi. I hope you know that they're actually mosses. <laughs> Sorry. And there are two different types there. And this is what forms peat. Well, this is peat here at the bottom. Slowly decaying, lacked of oxygen, and that's what causes peat to be formed. Why do you love that stuff? Training course. <laughs> yeah? Basically, and I find it intriguing. So you've got like a Stockholm Syndrome thing now, have you? Yeah. There's another slightly different one there as well. Like him. Two different types. And they only grow on one side of a rock, don't they? They're quite often the north facing, yeah. They're south facing, sorry, when I get it. South facing. Well, where's your compass? Right. South facing. Because they're getting sun most of the day. So often you'll find live birds in between the two. Not that I can see any at the moment. There's a mushroom. Some fungi. Turn it upside down. Try and keep that little man alive. Those of you with 2020 vision will probably Notice the smug look on my face. Back there, uh, James and Ben have just disappeared over there with my map, I will say. And we pulled up and we sort of looking at what we've got and I said, well, where, where do you think we are on the map? And uh, I did a six-figure estimated grid reference. And if you have a quick look at the, uh, the screenshot that I took of OS Locate, 
So I'm pretty pleased with that really. I'm hot, I'm sweaty and I want to get to where we're going. But that has made it a little bit better. What I can do in the edit is I can make out like you've just come across that. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell, have you seen him going there? Whoa, he's nearly there. He's like Spider Man, isn't he? <laughs> God, I've Bloody never seen out like it. Love his skills, eh? <laughs> oh, I'm in awe. <laughs> <laughs> Sit rep lost. This is quite literally what what being dragged through a hedge backward looks like and probably feels like. There's no path there. Got through it though. There's a gate there though. In, uh, in hindsight, I can now see where we went wrong and how we got lost. So, when we crossed the, the river on a bridge, we looked at the map, we could see on the map we've crossed the, br we've crossed the river. And I'll point to that on a photograph. Now what I'll, what I'll actually show you, the path that I'm at now on, actually spears off to the west of the path which we actually walked. So from the from the bridge, I actually measured this with the compass. It measured about two millimeters, 200 meters, using the scale of the map. So I knew that, well, I, I know from the navigation course that I did, that if I were to count my paces, that uh, 60, 68 paces of mine, every other pace, is at, on average about 100 meters. But we didn't do that. The good thing is, we didn't walk that far before we realised, hey, we've missed this turning. So, in hindsight, what, what could we have done different? Could have counted our paces. That would have worked. But also, the, the ground was a bit technical. So, instead of concentrating on where you're putting your feet, you're concentrating on counting, which doesn't sound a lot, but, you know, keeping your balance in bog and wet rocks and all the rest of it, it doesn't help. We're on the right path now, we're just looking for somewhere to pitch up. The Lake District's horrible, isn't it? What's there with that, that bearded chap? Walked on water. Can you hear it? I'm walking on moss on water. We're seconds away from this going wrong. I'll, uh, I'll keep it rolling just to hopefully capture the moment when I'm up to my neck in water. I can see the water. Uh -oh. I can hear more, I can see a stream, that's alright. But I'm definitely. Now, James, who's in front, 
was going to hamook. Now, one of the key things that one needs, or two key things that you need to hamook, is trees. And if you look at the terrain that I'm pointing the, uh, the camera at, you may notice a distinct lack of uh, trees. It looks like uh, James is going to jump in with Ben. Uh, Ben's sense uh, big enough, so not a problem. I am absolutely shattered. This terrain is bog, and then there's the farmer must put like beds of broken twigs and trees down to cover the the bog so you don't fall through it. I've never I've never seen out like it. Um, enough gassing. I need to get over there and hopefully put my tent up. And I'm quite hungry now, so I need to get something to eat as well. Captain's log. James wanted to, well, he first said, oh, here's going to be great when we're stood over there. So we got to here and it's rubbish. We carried on going, oh, well, I'm going to go sit and stand over there. And I'm looking at this lump of rocks. Now, in Steve's brain, this, which is a flat area, and it's, I reckon it's big enough for my tent. Let me tell you. So this is a, a flat enough area for my tent. I'm not sure what tent that Ben's got. Ben's somewhere up outside here. You coming up here, Ben? I'm here, mate. I thought you were coming up. Alright, you're there. Yeah. It's perfect, mate. There's two pictures. How big's your tent? Don't say two people. Right, yeah, there's a, there's a spot here. So they're coming up. Um, I'm really pleased. Uh, I'll just spin it back around and I'll show you what we're looking at. Uh, clear sky, so we're going to get some nice uh, twinkly stars. Once we're in the tent, so we'll have some tweet. Where you're stood is one pitch, and where I'm stood. This is camp for tonight. Um, James's GoPro doing a, a slow sort of 360. What's going on? And camouflage there is the uh, trail style that both Ben and James are going to be sleeping in tonight, and. Uh, I'm just about to make my meal. Really hungry, really thirsty as well. We've all been sweating buckets. Rucksack that Ben's got down there, the actual, the rucksack itself doesn't have a, a frame to, you know, let air through at the back. He, when he turns around, you can just see that all his back's sweaty and then the bottom of it's all woody salt. It's not the best look. Here's James back from his constitutional. Chow time. In. I can hear Tweedledum and Tweedledum are on the move as well. I'm not in any particular rush to get out of my pit. Yeah. I'm quite enjoying, quite enjoying the uh, Terra Nova. That's my pitch. Exactly as I found it. Meanwhile. So I'm going to be stood about in the rain for what looks like 15 minutes. They're still in their pit. <laughs> 